Hello, what I have here now is the electrical noise detector which is being activated while our main engine is running at now full. Once it is activated, the engine will run from now full to full ahead. Then become half ahead going to the next To fix this problem, you must need to go on the info, and then from there you will find and see the possible cause of trouble and the recommended solution on how to fix this problem. On the info, it was stated that to locate electrical noise, step one, you must need to stop the engine or run engine at slowdown level or dead slow. If the MPC has insulation resistance monitor, just proceed on procedure step number seven. Step number two, on one MPC, disconnect power on jumper J1. Step three, you must need to observe if the increase in noise pulse counter is stopped. Step four, if increase of electrical noise pulse counter is stopped, means you already found the cause of electrical noise. So, you can skip the step number 5 and proceed on another step. So, as I stated on step number 5, reconnect power supply jumper J1. But since you already and identify the cause of the problem, you must need to skip this step number 5. Once you identify the source of electrical noise, you must need to isolate or fix it by replacing the defective sensors or insulated the earthed part electrical signal cables. Step 6, reconnect the power supplies jumper connector J1. The MPC will resume a normal functions. You can also do a test by following the procedure 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. To do a test, you must need to follow step 7, set MPC in test mode by pressing the MPC mode button in MOP, maintenance input and output. This will stop the MPC normal functions, followed by procedure 8, 9, 10, until 11. In my case, we already identify where is the electrical noise is being generated and we found that this electrical noise is generated on ECU 4 and 5 and sometimes ECU 1, 2 and 3. So we proceed down and check on the pulse counter and verify that the source of electrical noise is dominant on ECU 4 and 5. So we go there and we found and identified this. Further check has been made and we found supervisory channel 34, exhaust valve position to slow and we have also a pulse counter which was C CCU1, CCU2, CCU3, CCU4, and 5. Further check has been made on the maintenance input and outputs, and we found the cylinder lube oil level have OK indication. The LFIBA feedback, we have 2.7 milliampere. The fuel plunger position is 6.47 milliampere. The exhaust valve position. It varies from 8.58 to 10 milliampere. The noise detection 
9.12 mA, the bulb set point use 0 volts, we have also the marker master false, the marker stir slip, true true, and everything here looks normal, but sometimes this electrical noise is activated repeatedly. So, so we ask the permission of our principals and owners in Aben the charter to stop the main engine by one hour then do some maintenance and fix the cause of electrical noise and we manage to do it accordingly. As we identify the cause of the electrical noise are coming from the fuel exhaust bulb position sensor J34 from which the protective pipe are in bad condition it cutting the insulation cable signal so that electrical noise is appeared and we manage to replace the sensor. Take note that in installing the sensor, the pipe have enough clearance so the pipe will not cut the insulation of your sensors. So as you can see here, we remove the sensors together with the pipe and this is the cut edge of my pipe which is very sharp I'm going to put some teflon protective on each edge so that the cable will not cut and we avoid electrical noise or even low insulation activation on your ECS IRM insulation resistance monitors so with me uh, engineers and they are doing something as you can see here the sharp edge cutting the insulation so i need to put uh, insulation teflon on edge and i put a uh, shrinkable tube further we discovered on the ccu number five the lubricator for solid valve fiber valve is damaged and it has cracked this is also causing a low insulation or electrical noise on your system so we remove this one and replace it with an ordinary plug and after replacing it we are able to run the engine in normal further knowledge you can also check and test how much is the 4 to 20 milliampere value on your sensor by connecting your multimeter in series with terminal 3 and 4 what you can see here is i put insulations on each edge so we will able to avoid this happening that causing electrical noise which really affects the RPM or the speed of your main engine and please take note that each week or better daily you must check and look on each terminal connections on the CCU1, CCU2, CCU3 while the engine at stop or at port you need to carefully insert and check some loose connections because these loose connections also contributed for a pulse counter no noise pulse counter each cable have designated mark K 
kings and I'm using screw the flat one and the cross one to protrude or insert more some cause of electrical noise due to the loose connections so by checking my insulation monitor now I have 2.0 mega ohms take note that less than 28 kilo ohms about 4 kilo ohms this low insulation monitor will be activated so now the pulse counter generation has stopped and we do manage run again our mini engine without running in a dead slow so everybody now is happy on the engine room Hello guys, good evening. Now the time is 6 o'clock in the evening. What you can see here is a sunset. This sunset comprising with clouds, skies with different and mix of colors. Yellow, white, orange, blue. And that is on top of the mountains. So those are the mountains and we are here navigating and continue to move so that our ship will be going out of this place so what you see there is there is a bird flying see there is a bird flying with us it keeps moving and here also have some sheep one sheep see the other side and that is very nice very nice sky appearance I have